What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We'll go back to another video. And in today's video, we are in the Heaven series. And uh, let me get you guys uh, just pretty much caught up. Uh, so first off, uh, the burn is not doing too bad. It's recovering pretty well. So uh, God bless. Second thing, uh, your man basically earlier this morning, I headed down to my dad's place and I uh, had my boy Nick help me do some coating on the car. The, the fuse box from the previous car that we ended up swapping this out with, uh, it had a bad fuse for the sunroof. So we ended up fixing that this morning with Nick. And then the second issue is that these center air vents was not working ever since I swapped out the climate control. So I bought another one. And again, you guys are telling me, why are you spending so much money? Well, I had to buy one that finally fits this exact same year to where this works, this works, and everything works now. So we have zero lights on the dash. All systems are okay. As you guys can see, the car is in really good shape. So at this point, guys, Nick did check the codes. We originally started with 180 codes when we first got this car with a bunch of lights on the dash, the front end damage, and everything leaking from the rear main seal to the transmission to the engine. Now we've officially fixed absolutely everything. So in this video, guys, we are basically going to be trying to perfect it. So I'm partnered up with Hydrosilix. They're a company that basically has a bunch of detailing products. And honestly, I've seen their products in action. I was actually really, really, really eager to work with them. So I reached out to them. They did want to partner up for this video. And they are giving away free products to you guys, like completely for free. All you guys have to do is just pay shipping. So there's going to be a link down below. Click that link. You guys will get a free bottle of ceramic coating, which is going to be pretty awesome. I think that bottle alone is like worth $20 or $30. So you guys will get that bottle completely for free. Just pay shipping. You guys will get that bottle. Bottle, and I'm gonna go ahead and use all their products to clean this 7 Series up. Detail from the inside in, and then obviously give the car a good car wash. But before we do all that, let's go ahead and get this thing smart. guys hoping to god the car is ready we have no lights on the dash we did take it about a 25 minute drive uh, so hopefully it is smog ready and guys after about six months of ownership dude, <laughs> it is about time we smog this car hopefully everything is set in stone so far the car drove perfectly fine with no issues so again hopefully we are good to go i'm pretty sure we are good to go but hopefully we're good to go finally get the smog for this it'll be absolutely insane and uh yes i mean this is it's, it's been a long time coming Let's go ahead and head inside and uh, hope for the best here. All right, guys, so we just went out for that long drive, and unfortunately, there's still a pending EVAP code. So no other codes and no other lights, but it's pending EVAP basically means that the EVAP system is not ready yet, so it still needs a lot more drive. Let's go out, drive it some more, and uh, hopefully get this thing ready before five, because five is our cutoff time for smog today. So we got to the smog place and he said, unfortunately the systems are not ready. So we went out for another drop. I just had to give it a little bit of a rip. And then I noticed that there was this huge like turbulent sound. It sounded really weird. And on top of that, it ended up, uh, it, it threw a uh, an engine malfunction light or something. So anyhow, we've been hearing this weird turbo sound. Actually, we heard it from the house, right? Yeah. And uh, that's what happened. So I don't even know where that connects to, but that goes directly into the boost solenoid. So we need to figure out where that snapped actually i gotta figure it out guys anyway i'll get back to y'all when i figure this thing out but uh unfortunately uh looks like we're not gonna be able to pass smock today and this car is not gonna be leaving us <laughs> until i order a new home <laughs> this car does not want to leave us it wants He's to like, stay you want to replace the transmission and fix me i'm gonna break the new transmission <laughs> <laughs> okay so anyway, i'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together we figured out what it is let me just go ahead and figure out where that connects and then order a new uh, new um a new vacuum line at least we figured out what it is so we are back in the car we figured out the problem which is a good thing i do have some new vacuum lines coming in for the 335 so we have like a 10 foot uh you know vacuum line coming in i'll use part of that to fix this situation luckily we figured it out also this is the church right babe mm -hmm. these people are super kind they literally came and gave us two waters and we're working on the car and i was like just a like, huge special shout out to them they both complimented the wrap on the car so that was pretty nice of them <laughs> by the same time one of the guys came over seeing if they wanted uh if they if i needed any help so that was really nice of them and the other girl gave us two waters so uh, again very very nice interactions and huge special shout out to these people over here but without further ado um, I'll check back to you guys tomorrow. I don't want to wash the car. I don't want to detail the car I don't want to do anything until we replace that vacuum line So I'll check back with you guys in a little bit So guys the transmission has been treating us a little bit better now, which has been absolutely great We haven't got any lights on the dash This little engine light here is only because the car is in accessory mode But there's zero lights on the dash zero errors here Which is absolutely perfect and it's been like this for two days now I went down to smog and next to Showman Motors and we tried smog and he, he said there is no check engine There is all the systems 
systems are ready, but you have an EVAP leak. And uh, I know for a fact the other day that we noticed we had a vacuum leak, so I went ahead and got a vacuum hose. Uh, my question is though, an EVAP and vacuum is not the same thing, but hopefully the code, maybe he didn't say the code right. Let's go ahead and read the codes, and hopefully the code has something to do with a vacuum, because if that's the case, then we could go ahead and replace the vacuum line, and then we should be able to re-smog once we actually go pick up that 135 again. So we can re-smog, get this thing good to go at the same time, pick up the 135, and if that thing's good to go, probably we smog that too, same day. Without further ado, let's go ahead and run the codes and just see what this is exactly. So looking at major codes, guys, we have an engine code right here for the boost pressure control possibility. So this is the one that controls the boost solenoid, and we noticed that our vacuum line was cut from the boost solenoid to the intake manifold. But yeah, guys, I'm not seeing anything here concerning an EVAP leak, so I think it is literally just the vacuum leak, but he thought it he thought an EVAP was a vacuum. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get down there and just replace that vacuum line. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, under the stars. Perfect, guys. Whenever I rev it, there's no more weird whistling sound. So uh, yeah, it's all because of that stupid little vacuum line. God bless. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the lights and uh, go drive down to like another another city. <laughs> Gotta go waste more gas and more miles. But I mean, hey, I mean, it already has 165,000. What is another 100 gonna do? The car is feeling so good. Legit, no issues in the last two days of driving other than that vacuum line. Oh, so we went ahead and replaced that vacuum line to the bull solenoid. And we also checked the other two lines to see if they were brittle, but they were actually good to go as well. I said, Put another 100 150 miles on it just so we can smog it so uh again let's just keep driving it i'm actually about to head down to the car wash to get this thing a proper wash boys and then obviously this thing needs a proper detail as well we got our boys at hydrocylics the sponsor of today's video it is entering a little bit late can't wait to use their products to clean up this little filthy thing this night come on baby take my hand and we don't need to do the things we don't want to do We finally got home with the 7 Series, and I just, oh my god, guys, every time I get in this car, it's a love and hate relationship, really because of all the things we had to go through, but ultimately, this thing drives so nice. It drives so nice. Thankfully, we have no leaks now. Everything works. I'm gonna be making a video of the full breakdown of everything we've done to this car, from the bottom dollar to every little imperfection. We've done so much to this car, guys, and I, I'm honestly growing kind of emotionally attached to this the same way I did with the E92 on 3, mainly because we brought it from nothing to something and now it has no issues that it literally looks perfect maybe not the best aesthetically but functionality now it's absolutely perfect the transmission has not given me an issue for four for two days now by the time this video goes up it'll be four days and i'll let you guys know if it does or not but so far so good fingers crossed it was just the fact that the transmission was sitting for a very long time and then once we put it in they got lubricated and everything was good to go it looks like that was the case so thank goodness but yeah guys back to today's sponsor we got hydro silex guys i am super 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 excited i've been really wanting to get some more detailing products i've worked with a few other detailing companies before and to be honest with you i haven't really been too excited i, I got the products i tried it i promoted it but at the same time I, but then i realized honestly i don't really want to promote those products anymore because they're not they really i wasn't really too happy with it personally with this i've heard so many good things my boy jonathan actually reached out to them as well and he got a few little things and he absolutely loved their products i was like you know what let me go ahead and get everything try a little bit of everything we got some ceramic coating some glass Glass cleaner, tire shine, ceramic, waterless wash, all-purpose cleaner, interior cleaner. We got the recharge kit, and this one actually is completely for free, guys. So literally, if you guys want to get this for free, just use my name, Nor, as the code. You guys will get this free from their website. I will be showing you guys that as well. We got a big bottle as well, but I also got the small to show you guys that this is, I mean, you guys get a bottle for free. Come on, check out that link down below. And then we also get some silica soap. So we got a little bit of everything, some wipes for the recharge, some hand sanitizer, which I wasn't expecting, but I mean, at the same time, I mean, hey, why 
not? And we got a bunch of rags. I did use that last one just now though to wipe down the car. So uh, we're not gonna be using that for the interior. Left for the do, I wanna do a cinematic video, show you guys some befores, some afters with the products. Let's go ahead and get to it. Degreased and de-waxed the entire car and, and ceramic the entire car. We also cleaned up the tires and put on some tire shine. Hopefully, I show you guys that when we actually get the car outside. I'm gonna show you guys the, obviously the entire car with the full cinematic. But let's get into the interior and let's go ahead and use this bad boy. Now I see why they sent this out to me. So a huge special shout out to Hydrosilix for caring about my safety. Obviously after using cleaning products, you don't want to be touching your eyes and stuff. So this is perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this hand sanitizer real quick. Again, huge special shout out to Hydrosilix. We want to get this car out for you guys and give you guys a cinematic because this thing looks so good. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized we can give this thing an engine detail as well. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Now it's time to use the hand sanitizer. But anywho, um, so the bottles we didn't use yet actually is a silica soap and this ceramic waterless wash. We're actually gonna be using this for the day the actual, the day the buyer comes in for the seven series. Mainly because we just gave it a wash, we just ceramic coated it, everything's good to go. We'll use a waterless wash instead of actually going to a car wash when the buyer actually comes to come by. So hopefully that will be soon and they'll, and they'll be able to use those two things to make it look absolutely spotless. But guys, I am so happy with how this car has come together. Zero lights in the dash, zero leaks. Car looks absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and get this thing outside and I'll show you guys how cleaned up it is. I'm in the house. I'm looking at the 7 Series through the window. It's looking so much better. This car is going to be going up for sale pretty soon. Um, I just need to get this thing to pass smog. And every time we go down to smog, we're finding something new. But that's a good thing. That means we're fixing everything properly before we actually get rid of it. And that's the whole point of the car. I want to absolutely perfect it before we actually sell it. Let me know down below, guys. Should I make a full video that pretty much talks about how much everything costs me to do on this car? Like every single repair, every little thing that I replace. What exactly did I replace? If you guys want to see a video on that, make sure let me know down below before we actually sell it. But yeah, I need to sell to make room for the M5. We did get the clutch flat wheel and a bunch of other things for the M5 yesterday. So it did come in. We are just trying to get some more money together and then hopefully tow the car eight hours to SSR performance and get the stuff worked on. We're also going to be doing the raw bearings there and a bunch of other things. And so again, it's going to cost a lot of money. So I need to get rid of the 7 Series and a few other builds on the side. 
to make the room for the M5 V10 Beast. I'm super excited for that car, but at the same time, I never want to leave a car uncompleted. And a lot of guys are saying just get rid of the 7 Series. No, honestly, I'm happy I did it because after driving it for literally four days straight, literally no issues came up on the dash, no transmission malfunction, no engine malfunction. Everything was good ever since we fixed all those things. I think the whole transmission situation was the fact that it was sitting for a very long time and it was not being used. And once we actually put it in the car and put fluids in it, it took some time for everything to get lubricated properly and function properly. I think that's what happened because right now, thankfully, thank the Lord, after coding and a new transmission and labor and everything, we're, we're like 4,000 into it with just the transmission work. Thankfully, now everything is working properly. So yeah, I am putting up the car for sale. I'm looking at around seven. This is after smog, of course, so the car should be 100% ready to go. Obviously, cosmetically, the car looks so, so, so much better, but just a quick little rundown, just in case you guys don't want me to record the video about what we did exactly to the seven series. In terms of gaskets, guys, we have a new oil pan, new rear main seal, new valve cover, new transmission pan, new oil filter housing, oil filter gaskets, literally a bunch of gaskets, pretty much all the oil gaskets have been replaced there's literally no leaks on this thing, which is absolutely insane. New spark plugs, ignition coils, and then obviously a new transmission. So in terms of maintenance, guys, I don't think it can get much better than this car. I think we've done more maintenance on this car than we've done any other build on the channel. And the car runs and drives so nicely, guys. Remember, this is an N54 740LI, the extended rear seats with the brown interior, black exterior. I think this is probably the best Spec 7 Series you can get. Obviously, if you could get one with lower mileage, that would be better. But I'm happy I saw this build through because it it was definitely a different experience. At the end of the day, after all the headaches, I still really love the car. And if I had space for it, I'd probably honestly keep it because it's really not even worth selling for five or seven. I mean, you're getting a lot of car for five or seven thousand dollars. These cars, original MSRP was like eighty thousand plus. So I mean. I don't know. I guess BMW depreciation is good for uh, you know us that are always in the used car market, not the new car market. But without further ado, guys, that's gonna be much conclude the video. If you guys are interested in the car, make sure to hit me up on my Instagram. You guys will be supporting the building. If you, and if you guys want to be featured in a video when you're purchasing the 7 Series, that'll be amazing. So at least then all of you guys get to see the new buyer. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so, so, so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.